Kids class. It's so nice to see you again today and be with you. We have a special treat for you today because we have some of your fellow students and some other friends joining us today to do some role play and let you see a story the way it may have happened in the book of Acts. And this story happened in two different cities. One of them was in the city of Joppa and one of them was in the city of Lydda. Well, we're going to look in, in the city of Joppa at a lady by the name of Dorcas and see what's going on there. You see, she was known for her kindness. She was known for her good deeds. And so let's see why people love Dorcas so much. There's a new blanket for you. Thank you, you're so kind, Dorcas. I made this robe just for you. Thank you so much, Dorcas. Okay, you're, you're so kind. Ah! And here's your new dress. So you can see why they love Dorcas so much. She was kind, and the Bible says that she was always doing good works. Well, let's go in over to the city of Lydda, which was close by. And in Lydda, we have a man that had been paralyzed for eight years. The poor man, all he could do was lay on a mat and he could ask for money, but that's all he could do because his legs hadn't worked in eight years. Money for the lame, money for the lame. So Peter happened to be in Lydda and Peter went to the lame man and did something very special for him. Jesus heals you. Pick up your mat and walk. I can walk again. Meanwhile, back in Joppa, Dorcas has died. And everyone is very sad about Dorcas' death. Well, all her friends were very, very sad that she had gotten sick and died. They took her body and they brought it to a room upstairs and they washed it. And the disciples heard that Peter was in the town nearby. So they went to get him. Peter was glad to come to Joppa to see what he could do for this woman that everyone loved. When Peter arrived, he went upstairs and there was Dorcas. Get up. Dorcas. Peter performed his second miracle. Dorcas was raised from the dead. Dorcas was alive again. And her friends and everyone was so happy that they were able to be with Dorcas again. She could continue to do her good works and her good deeds. And everybody heard about this. We love you, Dorcas. And there was many, many people that believed because of what they heard happened to Dorcas. So if you want to learn more about Dorcas, it's in your Bibles. It's a simple story, but a wonderful story of compassion and love and healing and the wonderful miracles that Peter was able to do to glorify God. Thanks for joining us today.